Hello, hello. How are you doing in honor of Mother Wendy? This is me, at Love Tea with DVD. Come on in, come on in. You're welcome over here. As I was about to do my recaps for Abbott Elementary, because it was a rerun this week. Yes, it was. And uh, Martha's Vineyard, Black Edition. It's called Summer House, Martha's Vineyard, but... We're going to call it the Black Edition. I ran across a couple of things, and I'm going to title this video, If Glass Houses Was a Purse. 50 motherfucking cents. Didn't I tell you his milk wasn't clean? I just told you guys that yesterday. Now, let me just get out all of the bad news first. I would like to extend my condolences to the family of the great Louis Gossett Jr., one of the greatest actor, actors of our of all time, baby. When I tell you I was, what, six, seven years old? Didn't have any business watching an officer and a gentleman, but I remember this part vividly in my mind. Quit, soldier! Quit, soldier. I'm not going to quit. You want to quit? Just go home. I don't want to go home. I have no place else to go. Baby, that scene will always be a staple in my mind. I saw Lou down to the good times as a special guest star. Rocking that bald head like it wasn't nothing, baby. Do you hear me? Playing as, do y'all remember that? When he played as Thalma, old, old man lover. <laughs> and uh, James told him, you, you rocking about, I'm 42, you rocking about 62. Something like that. Yes, 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 indeed. And um, he most recently played, check out my, my, my um, movie recap of, uh, review of um, the musical, Color Purple. That is in my movie reviews playlist. Go check that out. Again, I extend my condolences to the family of Mr. Louis Gossett Jr. Uh, rest in peace, fly high soldier. First Oscar, supporting Oscar, black male Oscar winner. Yes, ma'am. Give him his props, give him his due, and wherever his energy has been dispersed, we all have been a little better by having this man grace our school. Now, on to the mess. <laughs> and the reason why I titled this, If Glass Houses Was a Person, Mr. 50 decided that he wanted to go around there after he found out that Daphne Joy was one of his ex-workers for the S in front of him. And uh, so he was going to take uh, custody of the baby, Mr. Sai. Now, if we could all recall, we could just, let's think about that thing. Do you ever remember half a dollar, half of a quarter less than ever being kind to women. Can you remember that in recent history? Didn't I just say on my last video that this Negro was over there supporting Dr. Dre's ass? <laughs> no respect for 50, even though I am a avid power watcher, I can't stand this Negro. Okay. Let's just keep it real and raw as I do. But as the article is saying, she has indeed come out and responded to Mr. Curtis Jackson. And this is page six report. The in the club rapper hit back at the OnlyFans model and claims that she moved to New York so he could have an opportunity to be a father to his son. However, okay, all of this is going back and forth, back, back, forth, and forth. However, Miss Daphne Joyce said, yes, I did move for you to be a father. However, you only came to see him about three times. 
during the time when I li- was living there. So I moved my ass right on back to L.A., back to Cali. Said she, so she said. So she's going back to Cali, back to Cali, Cali. Now. Miss Daphne Joy has been in quite a few movies and quite made quite a few television appearances. Her original home is a Philippines, and she has stated in response to Mr. Curtis Jackson, Hey fella, hey fella, you were no father to our child, and you were quite a if to me in this relationship. And I have the proof that you were quite abusive. There are indeed, guess what, guess what, guess what, go around there and check it out for yourself. There are indeed police records and reports stating that Mr. Jackson copped a plea in order to not go to jail for being abusive, doing DV to Miss Daphne Joy. Tell you about this Negro. <laughs> you cannot throw any stone, Mr. Glasshouse. Mr. Glasshouse, you cannot throw no stones. Okay? Because I believe every single word she indeed said. Look how you treated the first baby mom. Look how you treated your son, the dark-skinned one that looks just like you, Mr. Colorist Jackson. And she also called him by his entire government, Curtis James Jackson. Let's put the real focus on your evil action. Of aping me, put her R in front, and physically abused me. If you don't think this stuff happened, like I said, make reference to the police report. Nobody surrounding puff shitty hands are clean. Nobody dealing in this situation hands are clean. So, Mr. 50 Cent James Jackson, Curtis, Glasshouse Jackson, sit your ass down and give your Twitter fingers a damn rest. Okay? That's my advice to you because everything is going to come out on your back ass as well. So if I were you, I would sit down somewhere, down off in a corner and continue to produce great programming over their own stuff. (laughs) <laughs> that's what I would do if I, if I was you. I, would, I wouldn't have came out and said a motherfucking word if I was you. Knowing that this woman has proof that you have indeed abused her. And with that being said, <laughs> I'm going to close. I told you. Then I tell you again, check out the video that this Negro's hands weren't clean. <sighs> they all in the music industry support deviance. And most of the deviance that they support is toward women. It's only recently that we can say that Nelly decided that he wanted to get back with Ashanti. But look at how he treated her up until this point. Why these Negroes got to get 82 years old before they realize that women are precious gold? Okay. I said what I said. And with like, uh, like I said, with that, I'm going to close. I'm getting a phone call <laughs> from my other phone, which is the other phone that I use to bring y'all the tea. I am going to jump them up as I do when I close. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. 
hit the notification bell button so you can be notified each and every time I upload a video. Come on in, come on in. It is still commercial-free entertainment over here.